Hello everyone, it's Marie from Skeletorama again. Welcome back to my channel. Give it a hash. How is everybody? So, hami er viren anju. I am very excited today because I've got a little small video for you. Um, just keep in mind that some of the stuff you see over here is because of a project that I'm working on um, that will be coming out fairly soon um, in one big long shot, but um, it's going to be super cool. But anyways, um, I wanted to do kind of a little review today. So I finally got my hands on um, some really cool paint. So if, if y'all remember, I did a review on the Stuart Simple, um, the heavy metal paint and the mirror paint that I loved. Um, that particular artist is also known for uh, this black paint, right? So it's the blackest black paint that there is. And I'll kind of, I'll pull my phone up so I can show you here. So um, the world's blackest paint, it's called Black 3.0 right? Well, he just came out with the newest version of it. It's not even on the site yet, but it is black four, right? Because, you know, three, four, whatever. Um, anyways, and so I got the email about it and he was doing a very special, you know, limited run of 2,500 of this brand new paint. It's the only way you can get it is if you were on the email list. It's a special founder's edition. Um, so I got some. And it took a really long time to get here, <laughs> but that's okay. Their stuff always does and it ends up being worth it. So I have it right here. So see, this is number was at 1470 something of 2,500 black 4.0. So we are gonna take a look at what comes in this particular box. You can't get this one, but um, once it comes out, you know, it'll come out in I'm sure a regular container. So we have a nice big box here. And it's all black, go figure. It comes with a sticker too, which I thought was pretty cool. So, voila. Um, but anyways, this is it. This is my Black 4 Special Founders Edition. I won't tell you how much it was. Well, I will, it's about 50 bucks. <laughs> but you know what? It's, it's worth it. If, if you're into black paint and you really want really black paint, especially for people who do fine art and painting and stuff, um, which I do not do, as, as we've seen previously, um, it's really essential to get true colors and true black is really hard. So what we're going to do, just for funsies, because I want to use it in the stuff that I'm doing for the other project that you guys will be seeing very soon, um, is I wanted to do a little swatch. I just wanted to sample it between my um, Prima Finibare Art Basics Heavy Black Gesso course it's going to have a, a different kind of a finish because it's a gesso but it is very black and it's got very good coverage and then we've got the folk art acrylic pure black here and then we will try it against the Stuart Simple um, black four and I'll leave links um, below to the website it's, since I'm in the U.S. I use Culture Hustle, uh, Culture Hustle USA but there is a European site as well. So I'll leave both of them if I can. Usually when I go on to it, it automatically forces me to the USA one. So we'll see. But anyways, so let's see how this does, shall we? Okay, so I've got my black folk art acrylic. I actually brought my palette out because this is in a tube. So I do not want to waste any of it. Plus, you know, I don't want to put a blob down and spread the blob out because then the thickness isn't going to be the same. So let's see if I can get this out. Okay, that doesn't count because that's like some sort of watery business. There we go. There's some of that. Okay, and then the gesso we can just open. There we are. That's pretty darn black right there. And then this. This is the first time I'm opening this. So we'll take the little protective stuff off of here. Yeah, sure we will. I hate when that happens. Why? Why you gotta be like that? Okay, there we go. That did it. Well, my nail's pretty black. So I'm just gonna put a teensy bit out here. Wow. That looks so nice. Okay, so let's see if we can tell the difference. Okay, so I've got three brushes because I don't wanna go wash the brush off, basically. Um, don't want anybody contaminating anybody else. So kind of give this a stir since it was not terribly well blended. Okay, so first we're gonna do our regular folk art acrylic black paint. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint these. I'll go clean up my brushes, clean up this stuff, and we will um, see how it looks when it's dry because that's gonna give us the best kind of look. Okay, so there's that black. So here's this black. 
This is my gesso. So it's going to dry with a matte finish. And then here is black 4.0, and I just got fuzz all in it. That's great. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm going to go with this. It's absolutely blacker than the other ones, even when it's wet. And then when I'm done with this, I, I do want to put my mirror paint over it because um, I want to see how it does. Um, the chrome finish kind of stuff will react differently whether you have um, white under it or black under it. So I wanted to see how it looks with the black 4.0 under that. So, okay, I'm going to go rinse these out and I'll be right back. And it'll, I'll come back when it's dry, clearly. Okay, so this is dry and I hope you can see this. Is there a difference? Oh, yes. And, and in person, it's a big difference. Um, now, granted, your gesso is going to dry, you know, very kind of matte because of the sort of finish that gesso is and everything. Um, this is not shiny. This is not shiny. They're both matte colors, but this is just such a deep, rich black compared to the other paints. Um, the coverage seems pretty similar on them. So now what we're going to do just for fun is we're going to get my favorite paint, which is the mirror paint. And we are going to brush it across all three of these, mainly because I want to see how the mirror <laughs> behaves on them um, before I do part of the project that I'm going to do. So I'll just take what's out of the lid here. Okay, and I'm going to put the mirror paint over this. I'm going to put it over this. And I'm going to put it over this. And as you can see, since this black absorbs so much more light, this mirror is a lot shinier. Um, it's more of a white color on the black four um, than it is on the gesso and the other one. So I'm going to let these dry a little bit. And I will be right back and we'll put a second coat on here because this really does need to. Um, and then we'll see which one looks best. Okay, that should be dry enough. I just didn't want to make you guys have to wait through that. Um, okay, so let's put a second coat of it on here. Oh, that looks good. Okay, so there we go. That's with two coats. So now, as far as using the mirrored paint, um, it's definitely brighter and a lot more silver. But if you notice, it seems to be more reflective on the regular paint. Um, part of that is probably due to, you know, the way these two are interacting with each other. But um, also, colors depend on what they're next to for their color, right? So, <clears throat> for example, this paint here, this is copper. It's copper, whether I have it in my hand or whether I have it over here because the pigments in it are copper. However, the color I put it next to will change the, the tones of it. Um, it's a trick that I use when I do um, greeting card stuff. And I'm doing like a snowman, for example, I want to look a nice bright white, but the paper that I put it on is white. So I'll actually use a light blue. Um, and a light blue, it looks very light blue until you start coloring in around it. As soon as you start coloring everything in around, like if you're doing a snowman, for example, those other colors make that blue now read white, right? So it's the same kind of a thing with it. But yeah, that's really cool. It's really, really bright on there. Let's put a little bit more on there. Let's do one more little thing on this one. And see, because this one could also be absorbing a lot more of the, um, the paint stuff as well. Okay, ooh, that looks nice and shiny. Now, are you gonna stay? So far, it looks like it's staying. <laughs> oh, I love this paint. Okay, so this this is like the best paint ever. It's just so fun. Um, anyways, there we go. Yeah, so it just needed another layer. So this is probably repelling the stuff that's in there that's holding the pigment um, a little more than this is absorbing it. So, But either way, this makes a pretty good mirror. And if you're doing, say, a dollhouse, you want a mirror, but you don't necessarily want that mirror to reflect actual. You just want it to look reflective. But, you know, it may be reflecting the person who's looking at it and it'll look weird in there. So, you know, whatever. But um, generally when I do mirrors for dollhouses, I try to do them in something that's just shiny that reads as a mirror versus actual mirror. So anyways, that's the paint. So yes, it is very black. It is very nice. 
um, if you do want this again, this isn't out yet. I'm not sure when this comes out officially. Um, you know, this particular one, this is 50 mil or no, 60 milliliters of paint was like 50 bucks. But if you go on the site right now and you get the black 3.0, which is also very good, um, you know, you get twice the, the volume for that amount. It's, it's a lot cheaper. It's just cause this was brand, brand new, basically sneak peek version of it. So, um, if at some point when it does come out and I find out that it's come out, I'll, I'll link it live below, but otherwise I'll just link the site itself. So anyways, that was my little quick paint comparison um, of the Stuart Simple Black 4.0. And so that's how it looks. And I will go back to um, painting whatever it was I was going to paint it on <laughs> in some upcoming videos that you will be seeing soon. So anyways, thanks for joining me for this. And I will see you very soon. Give me a mischief. Bye.